was on this flight from Sydney to LA, right? The plane wasn't packed, which was nice because everyone got a bit more room to stretch out. It was one of those older planes, a bit noisy, but nothing too bad. Everything was going smooth until this really strange thing happened. Across the aisle, there was this guy, David. At first glance, he seemed like just another passenger, maybe a bit tense, but nothing out of the ordinary. As the hours passed, though, he started acting weird. He was all fidgety, kept glancing nervously at the seat next to him, which was completely empty. He looked genuinely spooked, like he was seeing something terrifying. I'm not the kind to ignore someone in distress, so I thought I'd try and talk to him, you know? See if I could help him relax a bit. He told me he was coming back from a business trip, but he couldn't take his eyes off the empty seat. He leaned in close and whispered that he was seeing this shadowy figure sitting there, murmuring things he couldn't make out. I figured maybe he was just messing with me, or perhaps the stress was getting to him. But then I kid you not, I started seeing it too. It was like a shadow, or some kind of ghostly figure just sitting there in the seat. It made no sense at all. I hit the call button for a flight attendant, thinking maybe they could help sort this out. But the craziest thing happened. As soon as the attendant arrived, both David and that eerie, shadowy figure just disappeared. Poof. Gone. The attendant looked at me like I was pulling a prank or something. She even said the seat had been empty since we boarded. For the rest of the flight, I couldn't stop thinking about it. My eyes kept darting back to that empty seat. I was trying to figure out if I was losing my mind. Was David a ghost or something? Did I imagine it all? It was the most bizarre experience ever. I kept replaying it over in my head, trying to make sense of it. Where did David go? How could he just vanish into thin air like that? And what was up with that shadow thing? As soon as the plane landed in LA, I was one of the first off. I just needed to get away from that plane. The whole thing stayed with me, nagging at the back of my mind. I still think about that flight sometimes. What really happened? Was it all in my head? Or was there something more to it? It's one of those experiences that you just can't shake. A reminder that sometimes, the world is a lot stranger than we believe.